Hi there and welcome to Little Garden on the Prairies. In this video I'm going to be performing some emergency procedures on this pepper plant that is not looking too healthy. I am seeing signs of some rot here along the um, edge of the stem. The leaves are starting to turn a bad color and the roots are looking a little weak. So I'm going to try a few different uh, procedures to try and remedy this problem using hydrogen peroxide. So stay tuned and I'll show you what I'm going to do. So before we start working on the pepper plant, I just wanted to give you an update of all the other things going on in my indoor growing space. These are my impatience and coleus plants. I took cuttings from in the fall, rooted them and planted them up in these pots and they have really taken off. They make a nice winter plant in my house and come January I will start taking cuttings off of them and getting a bunch of seedlings ready hopefully to go outside uh, next summer in my outdoor garden space. And this is my Aero Garden Tiny Tim plant that is loaded up with small tomatoes right now. I can see that I should be getting a lot of ripe tomatoes hopefully in the next couple weeks. Even though I did prune this plant down about 20 days ago, um, it is really filled up again with a lot of foliage, but doing good so far. I'd also like to give you a quick tour of what's going on inside my grow tent. Um, I'm having some good luck and also having a bit of bad luck with some of my plants here. As you can see, my tomato plant here looking very healthy. Seems very happy in the tent. I have lots of blooms and if I can get it turned the right way I have one tomato coming here so far. So pollination has occurred okay. It's looking good. Got some healthy roots. I've been just uh, topping up the nutrients as the plant drinks the the water down and that seems to be working good. But as you can see, the cucumbers are pretty much dead. This is very disappointing for me because when I brought them into the tent, they were two very healthy cucumbers that I had started outside on the shelf under lights and they seem to be doing really well but within a week or two the leaves turned yellow. Um, they were shooting out blossoms with baby cucumbers but everything just has been dying slowly. I have tested the pH, I refresh the nutrients, I adjust the lights, I brought in fans. I did everything that I think I should do. But again, my inexperience with grow tents, uh, maybe there's more that I need to be checking into to have success with cucumbers. I thought they'd be easy. My strawberry plant is just flourishing and it seems to be really happy in here. I've eaten two strawberries off of it. It just shoots out the odd bloom and strawberry every week or so. I'm not getting any kind of a huge crop, but it is a happy plant in here and I'm hoping that I can take cuttings in uh, early January and start getting a bunch of extra strawberry plants maybe that I can move outdoors next spring. We just try to zoom in here on the stem so that you can see here down right near the bottom there's a lot of algae growing on the rock wall that this was planted in originally and it's starting to take effect on the stem and causing some damage to that stem and I want to remedy this by um, trying to remove this rock wall from from around the stem get rid of it and treat it with maybe some diluted hydrogen peroxide and water. I'm also going to change up the nutrient solution inside. The roots are still looking fairly healthy so that's a good sign. So I just want to try refreshing the nutrients here giving the container a good disinfecting and adding a little hydrogen peroxide also to the water. If you've been watching some of my previous videos, I did a treatment similar to this on a strawberry plant that was suffering from root rot. And I gave it a treatment with fresh solution and some hydrogen peroxide on the roots. And 
it turned around after a week or two and I got a beautiful strawberry plant now that is producing fruit. So I'm hoping that we can save this sweet Italian pepper using some of these steps that I'm going to show you. So I'm going to start by just clearing off some of the small little leaves on the stem just to open up the area and then from there I'm going to try to remove all these little pebbles and tear away pieces of rock bowl that have the LJ on it and just kind of open it up let some air get to the stem so then I mixed up some diluted solution with hydrogen peroxide and water. So the measurements I'm using here are three milliliters of 3% peroxide to one liter of water. So after I've stirred up this uh, mixture, I'm going to just add some to a spray bottle that I can use to treat the stems of this pepper plant and also any other of one of my plants that I may want to give a treatment to. So you can see here that I have removed all the rock well that had the green LJ, being careful not to damage the roots too much. So a couple spritzes of the hydrogen water solution and then I'm going to just return some of the clay balls around the stem to give it some stability. So uh, while I'm cleaning this container and disinfecting and refreshing nutrients, I'm going to use this hydrogen peroxide solution to also give the roots a good treatment. So I'm just going to set them inside, let them sit in there for 5 or 10 minutes while I clean the container. So the container's been all cleaned out. I've mixed up a new batch of the nutrients and I'm just going to add the water now to the container. I'm also going to put in uh, about half a milliliter of the 3% uh, hydrogen peroxide. So I thought it might be a good idea to do a pH test on this uh, water as well, just to see where it's at. And I don't have a pH meter yet, but I do have this Root Farm pH test kit that I'm going to use to see what pH level this is coming out at. So after I've added about four drops of the pH test indicator to the water, I've given it a good shake and then I use the scale color scale on the side of the root farm container to see where my pH level looks to be at. It's a little hard to tell looking at uh, it through the camera here what color it's at, but it looks like it's somewhere between that 6 and 6.5, so that seems good. So now I am just going to return the plant into its container. Really sure if this will be helpful or not, but I'm going to use the uh, pool noodle trick that you see often on different videos to use it to kind of help it keep stable and keep some of the light away from around the stem. So here are my other pepper plants that I have growing under lights on the shelf. I have a Sunbright, a Jalapeno, and a Chili Pepper. You can see that these are all looking very healthy. The stems are healthy. The leaves are looking nice and green. So I will be putting the uh, sweet Italian pepper here that we just gave the treatment to under the lights. And as you can see, when you compare the, the leaves of the sweet Italian, you can tell that it is not near as healthy looking as the other three peppers. So it's only been a couple days since I gave the treatment to the pepper, but I'm just getting ready to upload this video to the channel. And I thought I would do a quick check on the plant two days later. As you can see, it is um, still showing a little bit of signs of stress, but um, it doesn't seem to be in any worse shape than it was a couple days ago. So I'm hopeful that it's going to recover, but I will keep you updated uh, in the next week or two to let you know how my peppers are doing. 
So I do have a couple other videos up on my channel dealing with root rot and using hydrogen peroxide to treat your plants. So I will have them up on the screen if you want to check those out. So if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss on any future videos coming to my channel. Thanks for watching.